Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and use password manager called KeyPassX. There are two ways to install a KeyPassX. One is through graphical user interface by going to software manager and then finding application. This instance is just generating a little cache done. So KeyPassX and here we go. We have an option, uh, a list of software that comes up with this name. KeyPassX is the one we're after. So we, if we click on that, it will give us an opportunity to install it. If you click on KeyPassX.org, it will take you to a software website where you can find out more information about it. Uh, if you click on install, you will be prompted for a password and then installation will complete within a matter of seconds. This is a very small software, so it doesn't take long to, to install. Second way to install KeyPass is through terminal using a command line. So we can key commands like sudo space apt dash get install keypass x we are going to be prompted uh, to confirm whether we want to install a keypass and additional library files in this case uh, there is only one so we're going to key y for yes and proceed installation will be complete uh, very quickly actually it's done now Second, uh, and then we can go to accessories and we should be able to find a key pass right here. Right click on it, you can add it to panel, you can add it to desktop or to your favorites in here. In this case, I'm just going to leave it on, uh, on a panel. If we click on here, we'll be prompted for, uh, this is the welcome screen, yeah? And if you have our existing database, you can open it from here. In this case, we're going to create a brand new database and we're going to use a password and a key file. Okay, so we will need both to log in to um, uh, KeyPassX. So I'm just going to keep very simple password in this instance and a key file. We're going to create a new one. So let's go to documents and we're going to save it in here. I'm just call it keys. Okay, and we double click, so we are in keys. So key one, for example, and save it. And click OK. So we are going to save this database. And let's go to the, there and create new one. So we'll go key pass x underscore db. And we can call it my pw underscore db and save that you can see the name has changed straight away once we are in here uh, we can also customize even further edit group for example you don't need to be called root i'm just going to bob and uh, we can then add new subgroup in this case let's go use it as work, you can choose an icon. Uh, let's do this, okay. Uh, next one, we can add another group, call it personal. And we can edit it further, you can add an icon like this one, for example. In here, we can add um, uh, uh, new entries. So the options were just to add a new entry. Uh, title, we'll just call it Gmail. Uh, username will be like Bob1234, Bob. This is not actual email, just making up as I go. Uh, Gmail.com. Um, so hopefully unlikely that anyone has this kind of username. Uh, password, uh, we can just also keep it very simple. Uh, and URL, it will be HTTPS gmail.com there are uh, additional options in here which you can uh, explore like let's pick this icon for email and so on uh, let's save it so that's now saved you can right click on it and go to open url it should take us to gmail.com straight away there you go and we prompted to sign in 
you can also right click in there copy username and passwords copy attributes to clipboard and so on because i just made up this username and password it's no real uh gmail account um it won't work okay we'll save that and from here you can continue um adding uh, new entries as as you please if we click on tools and then settings there are additional options in here um, some are for useful for example automatically save on exit so you don't have to do it manually automatically save after every change um, i would suggest you treat this one with caution if you're confident uh, and you minimize your mistakes then uh, this will be absolutely fine there are additional uh, options here like log database after inactivity of 10 seconds um, i would add maybe 20 maybe even 30 seconds a really uh, a personal choice on this one um, show as a system tray icon if you wish and so on uh, i suggest you play with these and see what suits you best so we'll save that and then we are going to quit once we are in here um, to go back you can click on here we are going to be prompted for a password and in this case we need a key file as well so let's go to um let's go one level up keys key one here we are and we just click okay and we are back in there that's pretty much it really there are a few other options that you could uh, do add new groups new uh, delete groups from here and so on uh show tool oops I didn't mean to do that uh, Uh, you can um, view groups, show toolbar, or remove this toolbar from here. Uh, there's a help and things like that. It's pretty simple, straightforward uh, uh, software to use, and excellent uh, to uh, as a, as a, um, a password manager. So, um, what other options are left? Uh, you can change master key. That's the one we used earlier on. Uh, from there, but we. Are going to leave it as it is at the minute and uh, you can have additional databases and and create different versions of databases and so on uh, that's it really thank you very much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing have a great day bye bye